And we welcome you back to the National Bowling Stadium in Reno, Nevada, the 13th Denny's PBA Tour event held here at this facility. And yes, Patrick Allen is looking for a ham bone. Randy Peterson, Rob Stone here with you as we take a look at our oil pattern, courtesy of the Lumber Liquidators. Know the wood. Shark pattern, 44 feet in length. All the players said the same thing. Very slick. Normally, you start around the second arrow on both sides of the lane. But this week, the players have been able to somehow groove a little something with sanded equipment on the outside part of the lane. As the lanes break down, the players migrate in. Let's take a look at a graphic. The numbers showing the difference between qualifying and match play. Look how low the numbers are this week. Remember, we talked about the Shark being a very low scoring pattern. Check this out right here. 201 average around a 64 to make it to match play. You see what happens after that, though. The averages start to go up because in a bracketed format, it's one-on-one -on, -one on one pair of lanes. The players can take sanded equipment and start kind of plowing a little uh, path for them to the pocket. Three 300 games were bowled this week. The average so far through the course of the year, 4.7 per event. Here's Danny Wiseman, down 22 in the sixth. Oh, this is too firm. Now the commercial break didn't want to get soft. Well, the mistake for Danny Wiseman is not firm and to the right. It should be firm and to the left and try to yank it up into that massive oil that's on the lanes. You can't miss right on this pattern unless you're starting to play the middle part of the lane. The lanes have broken down. The pattern's starting to go away. But playing the outside part of the lane, you can't miss to the right. So Wiseman now has two open frames of the six he's off. bowled. Too hard. And we mentioned at the outset his issues under the lights. If he falls today, he'll go to 0-5 through his last five televised appearances, setting a new career worse mark for Wiseman. Baltimore native picks up the slack there. Got into bowling by throwing at the duck pins in Baltimore. His dad would take he and his sister out there at around the ages three, four, and five. First league at age seven. His first average as a seven-year-old, 119. Not bad, Danny. Beautiful looking game, Danny Wiseman. It's too bad the injuries have hampered him the last couple of years. He still throws it good. So Patrick Allen up now has striked in the fourth, fifth, and sixth. We are looking for our first ham bone of 2008. <laughs> That's right! I told you, if you bring a ham bone sign, I'm putting you on television. Oh, wait, was that a bad ham bone sign? I couldn't read, there was some fine print there. It looked like a credit card thing. We don't want a turkey, we want a ham bone. All right, that's a good ham bone sign. There, if you, and I tell you what, if you bring a good ham bone sign, we'll put you up multiple times. Yeah, although I think I've heard some rumors that there are some negative ham bone signs out there. So Alan, now with four in a row, looking for five and really pulling away yeah, early from Wiseman. Shoe. Allen up 44. He's got some wood issues with his boots. And Wiseman's got some other issues to deal with. It's everywhere. Come on. Come on. Very heavy on the head pin there. A lot of distractions. Excuse me. A lot of distraction, distractions going through um, Patrick Allen's head there. He's messing around with the approach. He just didn't look like he was ever ready to throw it. Got a clock, uh, shot clock violation. Shoe issue. Now he's just looking to stay clean, trying to convert the 2-7. There was also some residual sound from some warm-ups going on several lanes over in this massive complex. Got a chance? Yes. Well, he's had two pretty nice pickups today so far. Yeah, and, and that's why, you know, he's, he was player of the year before. That's why he's won major championships. Ten titles to his credit. That's why he's in the top ten in just about every statistical category out here. The guy's a player. 
Said two splits, he's clean, he's got a four bagger or a hand bone. Now you've got me saying it. <laughs> oh my God. It's spreading, it's contagious. Wiseman 11 Denny's PBA Tour titles, including one major, the 2004 Masters. Subtle commercial You mentioned breaks. that auto accident. He was going to a bowling show in Chicago late November of 2005. His car was basically at a stop, and he was rear-ended by a car going, he said to us yesterday, about 40 miles per hour. He now has to wear a compression sock on that left ankle and left lower leg from that accident. He wears it all day except for when he's in bed. He has what they call lymphangioma fluid from a catastrophic injury that will not go away. It is a lifetime injury. Back-to-back -back strikes. Really good-looking shot there. And Danny Wiseman's game physically is all about from the waist down. It's all about legs and creating leverage. And that's the one part of his game that he looks like he struggles with. Well, he's back now with three strikes in a row. He's telling us yesterday to start the season, his body fat percentage was right around your area, 12.5%, Randy. Spends a lot of time working on the legs. The core, the upper body. You got the numbers backwards, pal. <laughs> but he said uh, body fat up to 13 and 14 now after all those holiday meals. But you usually lose your body fat during the holiday meals, right? Yeah. Fuck up. Allen continues to blister the field right now. And Patrick Allen, if he goes spare strike in the 10th frame, will shoot 228. The best Danny Wiseman can do if he strikes out is 226. So right now, Danny Wiseman is hoping for an opening from Patrick Allen. Best Allen could do is a 248. Come on. We are. That's got a chance. That's got a chance. Yo, Mark. Yes, we know. I tell you, he knows when it's good and when it's bad the second it's leaving his hand. Well, the players at this level, they all know when it's good and when it's bad as soon as it leaves their hand. Feel the fire. If it's going in the right direction yeah. and it's off their hand the right way, they can feel it instantly. They know match. whether or not it's going to get there. And he's letting us know today as well. Up 32. We'll move on to the final of the ConstructionJobs.com championship. Strong showing here in semi number one. Sick. Strike here will give him 248. Business. And this match came down to open frames. Two open frames for Danny Wiseman, two split conversions for Patrick Allen. Yeah, the ball's pretty good there. But... Mm, Allen may have just figured things out here. Get him. Get him. All over but the shouting. Thank you. I'm going to get you one of those Wiseman shirts for Vegas. I would love one. I can't believe uh, Santa didn't throw one in my stocking. What do I got to do? Yeah. It was en route to a Brooklyn strike there. And Wiseman knows it's done. And he's pretty much just standing up and chucking. So Danny's issues on television continue, but it's always a positive to at least be on television. 248 to 192. Patrick Allen moves on to the title game where he'll be seeking his second title of the year. We check in now on our CLR clean sweep and it's with Patrick Allen pretty much pulled away here. Fourth, fifth, sixth and there the seventh to complete the hand bone. Four strikes in a row. Allen moves on 248 to 192. When we return we get set for semifinal number two and show you the top five moments from the season thus far. PBA live from Reno.